If you want more content from We Studios, check us out at our website, wepodcast.com. That's W-E-E podcast.com. You can find our Twitter, our Reddit, everything over there. Our Simpsons podcast, worst episode ever. Our sync points, everything. Everything must go. Everything we got. We're having a fire sale on wepodcast.com. Get and it while it's hot. While you're there, if you feel like spending some money, just click our Amazon links or just go to amazon.wepodcast.com and shop like you normally would. We get a small cut. Keeps the show free. This wonderful show that you're about to hear. Sixty minutes around the clock and straight out of Wii Studios. This is nineties percentile. My name is Jack. My name is Dan, and we're talking everything nineties and maybe also everything before and after. That's right. And talking nineties with us is Annie Chang. Annie Chang in the studio. How's it going, Annie? Hello. Good. Hey. Good. Uh, so you are a person. Uh, well, <laughs> wow. sometimes you're a female person. You're an actress, actually. Yes. Yeah. Are um, actors and actresses people? Sometimes. Oh, it's, mm. I thought they were a character. All <laughs> all people. Are actors, but not all actors are people. Okay, because some because some deep. actors are dogs. Yeah. Rin Tin Tin was an actor. Air Bud. Air yeah. Bud was an actor. <laughs> not a person. Did you do you know Air Bud Annie? No. Oh no. I, I thought I thought you all one. knew each other. I think, he's not <laughs> <laughs> I think he's no longer with us anyway. Yeah, he died a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> starting things off on a so nice sad. positive Stuff note. High note. Um, Your topic is uh, Air Everybody Bud, name it? the dog they miss most. <laughs> Beethoven. No, I meant of your own personal pets. I've oh. lost a lot of dogs. You, you have <laughs> lost a lot of dogs. Um, no, uh, I, I like that you picked Beethoven. No, that, was a good <laughs> an, that was a good answer to I a miss... completely fake question. <laughs> okay. I miss Charles Grodin. <laughs> he was my dog. He's, he was an actor and a person. <laughs> he is. Um, where, what have we seen you in? We've seen you in a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, recently, probably the biggest would be Shades of Blue. Yeah. With Jenny Shades from the Blue. Block. Oh, Ray Liotta. J Lo. Classic <laughs> nickname Classic. For, for Ray Liotta is Jenny from the it was, Block. It's, it's, an, it's, you know, it's an odd nickname, but it works it, for him. It's a it really funny story that goes along with it. <laughs> and Dre DeMatteo from Sopranos. Yeah. If, oh. yeah. if you were into Sopranos. Um, basically, was. a bunch of like tough guy characters. Mm-hmm. A, and lot, you. a lot of New, you, New <laughs> York tough. types. Hey. <laughs> We're shades of blue. <laughs> that, that's you've watched, so you've seen the show. Yeah, it's a really good show. Uh, I'm J Lo. Hey, the whole cast is LA based, though. So well, not, not they're very, very good okay. actors. <laughs> it's incredible. The dog, they sound the, just that, like Jack's dad. The dog that's on that show uh, sparks with a great Brooklyn accent. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, you play what? Well, you play an FBI agent, not a mm-hmm. cop. Right? I play FBI agent Molly Chen. That's such Ooh. a. Classic like t- cop show TV character name. I is love it? it? Is it? When I they, oh Molly... yeah, they, they, they're all named Molly Chen. All of them. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I just I forgot about Molly no, Chen. Like, to me, it's FBI sound... agent. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, it was uh, the uh, Hill Street Blues yeah, that's uh, right. spinoff. That's right. <laughs> no, it it sounds like such a great TV cop name, even though you're not cop, you're an FBI agent. Yeah, it's also weirdly enough the first thing that I've ever played where the last name reflected my ethnicity. Which is really? really interesting. Yeah, I remember I had when I was. What first is your ethnicity? This is an audio podcast. Um, Annie well, Chang. Chang. Everyone is wondering. You okay. know, take a guess. Is she Brazilian? I don't yeah. know. All right, I'm, I was going to say Swiss. <laughs> good, good try. Um, <laughs> uh, I I played a small part in um, a soap when I first started out, and uh, when I was right outside of college, and the last name was like Jackson. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I got the part. I was like, okay, they're going to change it, and I'm going to show up, and it's going to be like Lee or Huang or something. <laughs> right, you know? right. And then they were like, no. And the first line was like, hi, Miss Jackson. And I was like, that's me? Like, I could be a Jackson. <laughs> like, I can be anything I want. Yeah. Uh, that's the joy of acting. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it, was the first, it was the first time I what got was, an Asian so, last name. Yeah. So you were also recently on Jim Gaffigan's show. What was your character's was, name on that? Uh, uh, Franz Dubois. <laughs> That's not Asian. That is that's very not much John. not Asian. <laughs> uh, or very female. But that's no, sort of the joke. Yeah, yeah, Franz okay. is a very yeah. Name, The joke yeah. was that I, I was not, I didn't look like someone uh, okay. who would have that name. Got so, it. fair enough. What was that? Very was funny like joke. Jim Gaffigan, really cool guy? Oh, my God. He's exactly what you would think he was like. You're, right now, nobody can see this. Eddie's like, like shaking her head like, no, everything I'm <laughs> no, saying. No, no. <laughs> Muttering under her breath. No, Nicest I'm, I'm, man. And I'm his wife, pockets Jeannie, ruined him. Um, who I didn't know, like, had such a big hand in his career. Yeah, I was going to say, why was she yeah. upset? 
She, she she's the showrunner, yeah, right? She's oh, the yeah. showrunner. I've I've listened to him recently on Comedy Bang Bang. I don't know Jim Gaffigan personally like Annie does. But <laughs> I don't know if we I listen to other podcasts. Jim, if you're listening. You're best friends. I Jim Gaffigan is certainly listening <laughs> yeah. to this show. <laughs> uh, but she's amazing and she was the showrunner and so funny. Yeah. Like I, I can see how they are such a good team. And she got a lot of like shit. Uh, early on for being like oh like you're such a funny woman like why are you serving the man and like you gave up your comedy career to like take care of the kids but like be behind the scenes he, for your husband she michelle obama him she's michelle like the michelle obama she one up him. <laughs> and her arms are amazing <laughs> she does have amazing arms <laughs> so um, now is it was his wife a comedian before they met i think they so met doing comedy i, I read guess. something okay. about how how she was in that world i don't know right. if she was doing stand-up or what she was doing but what other personal secrets can you tell us about yeah. jim gaffigan because that's yeah. what people like on this show is just like celebrity gossip <laughs> <laughs> yeah like did he run over anybody with his car while you he were did, didn't no, he? he was so nice oh, annie is shaking her head just as vigorously <laughs> she, right she now. was making the drinky drinky <laughs> Motion <laughs> and the swerve into a family motion. Oh, she, no, she, she obviously was not working. <laughs> he was so nice. I don't know. I there was there was no drama on that set. Good. That's that's yeah. awesome. All right. One last show I want to ask you about because uh, I like that you mentioned that uh, this was the f- Shades of Blue was the first time you had an Asian character name. So Masters of Master of None. Master, master of none, not masters mm, of none. Yeah. I was master, thinking masters, masters of, of the universe. Oh. No, <laughs> I thought um, you were saying masters of sex. That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, me, he man for me. <laughs> yeah. se- sex is for, for adults. Um, <laughs> no, ma- master of none. I, you are wearing footy is, pajamas. Is a show all, is that it has a lot to do about race. Uh, what was your character's name on that? She didn't even have a last name. It okay. was just Caroline. It was, so, it, was a, it was like a quick. Uh, it was a quick little. It was thing. a really funny scene. I'm going to assume yeah. it was Caroline Jackson. Yeah. Just, just so there's some sort of through line between masters of none and the soap. They're. Like that, this got to be somebody that does that, right? Uh, maybe. Oh, Dante from Clerks. All he plays different characters and all the. Oh Kevin Smith yeah, yeah, movies, yeah. They're, they're like all cousins. They're all cousins. I was thinking yeah. Richard Belzer because he's always Detective Munch and but like a bunch of things. They're all the things. same Munch, aren't it's they? It's all the same character, but is it? I don't <laughs> know. He's playing his identical cousin. <laughs> it could be. We never got a first name. <laughs> we probably did get a first name. I never watched Hills right. Homicide. So uh, we're excited to have you. Uh, it's really cool. Um, our audience right now is thinking, when are they going to get to the topic? But we're not going to do it yet. We're not. Because uh, Annie, we already said, we said me and Dan were texting before. Uh, we had no idea how the show was going to go. But you said something to me and me and Dan were talking. We were like, you know what? Annie Chang is our best guest ever. And that's because you brought cupcakes to Wee Studios. It's true. She did. Yes. Uh, and then I said, what do we do? We're going to eat them first. And then you're going to hear us like... On, you know, it's like trying to get the stuff out of our teeth. Do we eat it after? And then it's it's late already. We're gonna have a sugar right. rush. We won't get to bed. Yeah. And you guys a, suggested we eat them on air. I which, think we should eat right. them on air. I mean, we are a professional yeah, podcast. As a podcast listener, I know I love listening to people eating. I uh, think the three things you're supposed to do in the podcasting world is pop your peas. So. P- uh, you're really? supposed to you're supposed to uh, uh, yell des- real loud into the microphone. Describe something visually. <laughs> yeah, oh, there's several things you're supposed to do all the time, but eating and coughing into the microphone are two are very very big up there. So uh, let's give a plug to uh, Sugar Sweet Sunshine yeah. Bakery. Have you ever been there? No, I have not. It Guys. sounds it sounds amazing. I love, I love the, the alliteration. Uh, I love the Don Hertzfeld like uh, cupcakes on the logo there. Nice, they're dancing cupcakes. Sun so Rivington. I feel like I'm gonna be dancing oh, after I eat this cupcake. Napkins. That's okay. Yeah. It is. Uh, <laughs> We're only very, destroying Wii Studios. Very expensive equipment. Hey, you guys work on the box. I'm gonna go get napkins. All right. Well, this is this is <laughs> this is. Great Annie, you remember when I said we can't cut anything? <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, thank you so much for bringing cupcakes. Most yeah. guests don't, but maybe this will be a call to our future guests yeah. to bring us food bring uh, because we will probably have you back sooner than we'll have back any other <laughs> guest <laughs> because you uh, you brought us food. Well, also, I, um, you're going out to L.A. You're going out to Old Silvertown. Uh, uh, yeah. With a friend of the show, Dirk Otis. Not with him, but he's going to be there. Right. Um, and you were talking to us before the show about how you don't know if you're going to be in season two of Shades of Blue, even though you were pretty much every episode. You were yeah. a, a pretty major character. I They're shooting now. They've been shooting for a while. Mm-hmm. My guess is that at this point, if I was going to be in it, I would probably know. But the way that those contracts work is unless you're a regular you just don't really know if you're ever going to be brought back or not. Sure. Like it could be in season five and I could get a call or I could not. And they tell you <laughs> yeah. like literally five minutes before they start shooting. Yeah. I mean, when I booked the job, I found out on a Friday uh, at like five and I had to go to a fitting that night and I started Monday. Oh, wow. Yeah. So quick, quick turnaround. Yeah. yeah. I actually, someone else booked the job first and then she was at the reading and they didn't like her and they fired her. Ooh. I know. And then I got it. That's okay. what happened. Yeah. And it All was right. Jim Gaffigan who was fired. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, 
Oh, I was going to say, oh, yeah, about that. I think if you're in the opening credits, if your name is in the opening credits, you're considered a regular. You're a series regular, And I was yeah. just watching The Leftovers, as mm-hmm. you, uh, audience would probably know by now. And Liv Tyler in season two, spoilers, she's only in two or three episodes. She's in two episodes, or th- three episodes, yeah. yeah. And she's in the credits for every one. And I was just like, yeah. that is a great paycheck. You're, she literally worked two, three, eight, three-tenths of the season. Well, so, well, maybe, but she... Don't you have to get paid for every episode you're you credited get, Yeah, in? exactly. Well, um, your name can be in the beginning and you won't be a regular. Like, my name was in the beginning of all the Shades episodes, but really? I was not As, a regular. Like, in, when, but, with but, the cast? Like, it was J-Lo, it was Ray Liotta, and then it was you. No, you just, like, peer, appeared in the first scene over the thing, right? You weren't in the... It wasn't like uh, the, the camera... You turn to the camera and smile and freeze frame. Was Does it? anyone still do that anymore? <laughs> I, I mean, we do it all the time, but it's, a, it's an audio-only podcast, was so your, no one was, appreciates it. Was your it. name in the opening... Like theme song, or is it in the first scene opening credits? Should we with bring up the opening? To Shades okay, of let's, Blue? let's let's we should probably just watch it because I now I don't know now I'm like questioning myself. I don't know if I have. Uh, right. No, I think action had started, CBS. but Wait. I feel like I I don't think there was much of a like big. It was it's not. A, there's no like intro music and right. There's not like a theme song where it's like she's got shades of blue. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> If they, I, if they need someone to do a theme song, I, I am available. I don't want to tell your bosses how to do their job, but if I was doing Shades of Blue, I would make the theme song, I'm Blue, by Eiffel 65. That's true. Oh my God. <laughs> well, they already used it in Iron Man 3 yeah, see, to that's open the, that you one. Can't, so. use it, can't use it again. <laughs> Shane Black ruined it for oh, us. Okay. All right. So we got the cupcakes open. Uh, what's going on oh, here? Man. What did you get us? This looks incredible. There's two vanilla, which are the best. Oh shit! I'm and I'm getting the best. Uh, a strawberry and a very chocolatey one. So the oh, green man. one is also vanilla. Mm-hmm. Wow! I brought four because I figured I thought this was your place and that your girlfriend would be here. Oh yeah, no, one. she's working an overnight uh, for some movie. I forget what movie she's working on. She was like, very excited about it though. I don't know what she's working on now, but I did see a movie that she was uh, that she worked on that was called uh, Don't Think Twice. Yeah, the Mike which was great. Mike Probiglia's new movie, movie which uh, everyone should see. It's all about yeah, improv. I was very surprised. You posted on her Facebook. You said, "Hey, we just saw you in the end credits," and I was like, "How long were you sitting in th- in the credits well, for this like small indie film? Like, were you waiting for the Thanos scene at the end? <laughs> yeah, we were. No, I say, I say, I'm gonna join the improv. That'll show these Marvel <laughs> do-gooders. After the credits, he crushes Chris Gethard's head, <laughs> and he's just like, "This is the this is the soul gem." <laughs> he kills my grip because like you'll be sleepwalking now forever. Oh boy! No, we were there. Uh, it was at the it was at BAM, the Brooklyn Academy of Music. And Mike Birbiglia did a Q&A afterwards. Question so and answer. All, that's a question and answer yeah. if, you don't, if you're not familiar with the term. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Um, have you ever worked with Mike Birbiglia? No. All no, right. no, no, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want more d- gossip on famous comedians. Um, I have a, uh, Missy has some very fun continuity photos of him. She would have to yeah. take pictures of him to make sure his costume was like, like yeah. and it was like a 5 a.m. shoot, and he just looked so miserable in, all, in each <laughs> picture. And she would just like send them to me and be like, look how mis- miserable Mike Birbiglia is. <laughs> Well, to be fair, his character in the in the movie is supposed to look miserable. So yeah, maybe he's yeah. just a method actor. He's, uh, he's, he doesn't have a happy face. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes he does. I don't know. Whatever. P- please hire my girlfriend again. She here. had a good time. <laughs> we're not here to talk about Mike Birbiglia. I don't um, know what we're here to do. We're, we're here, here to, eat, to cupcakes eat cupcakes and talk about the yeah, 90s, right, I suppose. So um, I guess I won't dig in. I don't know. Dig yeah, in. Let's just, let's just I, go I, for I, it. I didn't want to bring this up because I'm very, you know, thank you for bringing the cupcakes. Yeah. Go yeah. Yeah. Please go ahead. I just, I don't like eating in front of people. It's Oh, well, I'm not eating one. These are for you. Guys, oh, I thought you said it was one for each of us. I have no problem no, eating the strawberry cupcake, so I'm gonna dig wanted. right in. These are really the one you wanted, I'll Jack. I'll take the green vanilla You can have one. the strawberry no, you touched one. It. I, I, I honestly, <laughs> I'm still <laughs> touching it. I don't like I'm getting <laughs> cooties on it. I don't like people watching me eat. I don't like walking any. I honestly like to, for me, as much as I love eating, it's one of my favorite things to do. Yeah, um, my girlfriend pointed out recently that. Anytime I wax nostalgic or have a good memory about anything, it's always food related. <laughs> like usually, if like we walk by somebody, I go, "That's the time I had that really good steak." Like, and like apparently, I have no other good memories. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyway, I love eating. But I honestly, if it was up to me, it would be like in a like a windowless room <laughs> with like just pitch black. Oh, the, the eating pod that yeah, you have set like, up in the corner. Exactly, like a sensory deprivation eating pod because yeah. it's just it's a disgusting act. I don't know. It is. I'd rather you watch my poop than eat. Yeah, well, I've seen both, and <laughs> you know, one is much more disgusting I mean, like, than the, the other. The pooping, you know, you know, it's all downstairs. You don't really, you, you know, you don't. When see you're on anything. the toilet, yeah, you don't see you're it. You're seeing legs, you're seeing knees. We right. all saw lethal weapon too. But when you're watching <laughs> oh, me eat, God. it's all there, right in your face, right it's, in the eye line. Yeah, yeah, I, you're, you're, you're not even know. eating yet, and eating, I'm already disgusted. Eating Jack, is gross. Um, while we, while the two of us start eating cupcakes, Annie, I'm going to ask you, uh, as our guest, it's your right to choose the first topic. It's yes. a '90s show. It's called '90s Percentile. I don't know if you're familiar with it. Oh, you're good. 
Yeah, they're good, right? Don't look at me. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Stare at me. You did get very bashful. <laughs> Annie, uh, as, as our guest, it is your right to choose the first topic, or we can go into our random topic that is submitted by listeners on our website, 90spercentile.wordpress.com. So what would you like to do? I'll start with a topic. I only have okay. one in mind. Okay, so, what, what do we So got? we might get in there. Um, I want to talk about the AOL days. I want to talk about... Oh, shit. Oh, well, it was You haven't already talked about that, have you? I looked through a bunch of... We have not. Oh, okay. It is um, getting harder and harder for our guests to figure out what we have and haven't listened, uh, haven't talked about yet. Well, a lot of our episode titles are not as descriptive as they might be. Because <laughs> sometimes the topic is cigar aficionado when we talk about marijuana for 45 minutes. <laughs> uh, no, AOL. No, we have not talked about AOL. Yeah, um, specifically AIM. Okay. Inst- the instant Ooh. message days. Oh, man. I can't remember if I called it AIM or AIM. I, I called like, it AIM. I, I feel like you called it AIM. I don't remember what I called it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I never had AOL, but I did have AIM. Yeah. Oh man, well, they, Ooh, I just got a weird feeling from like those early, early internet. Days. Is it the cupcakes? Is it? Is it? <laughs> oh, it might be the cupcakes. The yeah. cupcakes are delicious, by the way. Oh, good. So delicious. sugar, sugar town. Yeah, thank you. Cupcakes uh, or whatever so this it was. Place on Rivington is very mm-hmm. good, right? Those are I think if you guys are the in the New York area, sugar, check sweet, out sunshine, Sugar Sweet Sunshine. Um, they haven't paid us to say that. So yeah, they, maybe they should. They should pay us a bounty, or next week we will say that they are terrible and gave us <laughs> exactly, horrible diarrhea. Exactly. Um, Is that extortion? Are we allowed to say that? Yeah, it's extortion for oh. sure. Um, well, whatever. We're still going to do we're it. We're still going to do it. So pay up, SSS. You pay us a cupcake. <laughs> That's totally fine. Just don't watch Jack while he eats them, as I am doing at this <laughs> moment. <laughs> um, all right. So let's talk about AOL. Um, yeah, AIM was like a game changer. An AIM changer, maybe. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I mean... So, because that basically was the invention of instant messaging as yeah, a thing. Absolutely. Yeah. And I, I don't, I don't really remember what my relationship was with the computer or the internet before that. But I just remember it was like fourth grade, and I discovered AIM, and I think I called it AIM because my dad told me about it. My dad is a computer engineer, okay. geek, nerd guy. And he sort of mis- mispronounced all sorts of things. Like for the longest time, I thought Skype was Sky P.E. <laughs> so like when everyone else caught on, I was like, oh my God, you have Sky P.E. And they were like, you mean <laughs> Skype? Like, Skype? So no, that's he the gym of- in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you, play, you play air dodgeball. <laughs> so he Which- spelled everything out. So, so I just remember, and he helped me make my first like AOL username. Was your dad Mr. Robot? Was your dad Basically. Christian Slater? <laughs> Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> He's here right now. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm eating a cupcake. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can we take that out? <laughs> um, I smiled. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Don't act like you did. Well, that's because I have food in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe uh, eating the cupcakes on air was right. a terrible idea. But anyway... AOL aim yeah um, fourth grade so I, I don't want to I don't want to ask about your age but uh, generally what what year do you think that was <laughs> <laughs> why can't you ask me my age I'm 28 okay so. I don't want to I don't, okay. don't, don't hey, ask hey. you your age but what year were you what, what year <laughs> <laughs> but how many minutes have you been alive <laughs> so how that old was were you last year <laughs> when was do you know when it was invented when I, AOL came out I'm pretty sure AOL came out in like 1993 but that was like oh, the really shit. early version of AOL Is AOL uh, Bill Gates? No, Steve Case was the guy who was in charge of AOL. Oh, Bill Gates is Microsoft. Bill Gates was Microsoft. Yeah. Um, but AOL, I got AOL in 1995, I want to think. Maybe, mm-hmm. maybe 96, when it was AOL 2.5, and it was all modems and dialing up and We have all to that play the stuff. sound, the AOL. Do we have Can to play it? We have it? to play it. I just watched the Seinfeld with the, where Elaine does the fax noise. It's one of my favorite Elaine moments ever. <laughs> I have a message for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, how it would I look sound this like up? a robot donkey, the fax noise. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound like a robot donkey. Uh, what would that be? Like uh, Eeyore.0? Eeyore 2.0? <laughs> Eeyore PE. <laughs> uh, so was AIM. You know what? Let's go. Uh, um, uh, that's really weird. I did AOL sound effects, and it actually gave me the AIM sound effects. Yeah, I think it's going to give you, yeah. like, the IM noise, which was... I don't know. Whoa! Oh, oh, good. That was loud. And you thought that hearing us uh, eat cupcakes was bad. I bet you... We have, uh, some of our teen listeners may not have ever heard this before. I'm sure I, they must have heard it somewhere. Oh, my God. It's so loud. That's literally the lowest volume I, I could possibly put it on. Quality. Oh, this was the other thing you should know that uh, you're always supposed to do on podcasts, right? Yeah. Play this sound. So, yeah, play modem noises. What's going on this, here? What is this sound? This was not. This is not what it sounded that's like. That's not what it sounded like. That, that, that was like some sort right. of 
joke, tried. maybe? I don't know what that was. Um, but that was the sound of a modem Sorry. connecting. That was the sound and of a microphone falling. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. A professional podcast. Um, yeah, AOL Instant Messenger, I remember they spun it off from By the regular way, AOL. AOL started in 1983, the company. Oh, wow. Uh, the uh, late 80s. But I feel like the, the service AOL, I guess, started in 1991. One. Yeah, the late 90s. That's oh. crazy. Yeah, the late 90s. Um, yeah, they spun AIM out as its own separate program at one point, where you didn't have to yeah, have AOL. Yeah, because I never had AOL. Right. I got internet for the first time in September 99. Um, I was 15. And uh, the first thing, I was like, I didn't even know what to do with the internet. Like, yeah. the first time I used it was a year or two earlier at my friend's house. I think I said talked about this on the podcast, where literally he's like, uh, you can look up anything. And it was such a weird concept. I was just like, what do you mean? He's like, he's like, it's like an encyclopedia. You can literally look up anything. And he's like, just search something. And I was like, uh, Bill Cosby. <laughs> and that oh was literally the first thing I ever searched for. I think it was on Alta Vista. <laughs> Uh, I think I was doing a report on him. Uh, I was. <laughs> you were doing an in- investigative journalism I, I, I posted, piece on him. <laughs> I, I posted this on Twitter a, a year ago, maybe. Uh, it, it was literally a report called "My Hero: Colin Bill Cosby." Oh boy! Oh boy! Yeah. I did. Uh, to be fair, I didn't know about the whole drugging. Uh, didn't you, Jack? People did. Didn't you, if Jack? It's fifteen-year-old Jack. I maybe reconsidered. <laughs> um, anyway, that was the first thing I ever searched for. Um, I got, so I got a 99 and I was like, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know. You know, I, I basically, I got like, uh, some games and they weren't even internet games. I got, uh, they were board games, Clue, Life, Right. I, so I asked you, I said, what do I do? And you, the first thing you says, get aim so we can all talk. We can all chat. Right. And I was just like, what? Uh, and you, you to- like walked me through getting aim and, and downloading. I remember your, yeah. oh, can I say your, your screen name? Sure. Oh, was Scorpion 13? Except with a zero? The, the first O was a zero. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my God. I had an O that was also a zero. Oh yeah. You had to because. You there weren't there were that many. Yeah, it was like ten characters was the limit for an AOL screen name, and that wasn't Scorpion, Mortal Kombat. That was Spider Man. That Scorpion. was the Spider Man villain Scorpion, which is like not an A list Rogues Gallery you villain. You know, I started with Car- Carnage One Four Nine was my first one. <laughs> yeah, like that, I can see. Like Scorpion, yeah. so is like I'm a huge Batman fan. That would right. be me like making my screen name like Clock King like, <laughs> Eleven. Your screen name absolutely <laughs> should, should be Clock, Clock King, King Eleven. <laughs> no, do you remember my first screen name? Oh uh, man, your first one. It wasn't Don't Know Jack, right? No, that, that came was my later. Second one. All right, so I had it for I had it planned out for months and I had it had it ahead of time. So I guess you had already told me about AOL ahead yeah. of time because I remember planning it out and I was so excited to do it and it was going to be Staten Island Psycho. Oh, oh yeah, no. I remember this. Yeah, Staten Island because with I, the that's... zero or with an O? Uh, with O's, all O's. Mm. Uh, and then I put my birthday. I don't. I guess for zero six eleven. I don't know if there was already another Staten Island Psycho. Right. Anyway, it was too long. What was the, like you said? What was the limit? Yeah, it was ten. Originally, it was ten characters. Just they changed it later. It's yeah. not no. So I changed it to S I Psycho. Uh, and right. I spelled Psycho S I K O. Yes. Uh, and then the next, <laughs> I'm so excited, and I'm I aming everybody. Uh, my man, like, hey, yo, hey, hey, I got AOL now. I'm in it. And then the next morning, I show up to school, and I was like, hey, it's Sissy Go. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no. It's anti psycho. <laughs> yeah, so I was Sissy Co for a couple months and then I changed it to Don't Know Jack yeah. for two Ks, which Sis- was half a right, K which, too many. which we talked about, I think, in <laughs> yeah. a previous podcast. Um, yeah, Sissy Co. Not, not your finest hour. <laughs> <laughs> it was no Scorpion 13, no, that's for no. sure. And then I, then I went on a long string of, uh, I changed it every six months or so. I just like putting yeah. together nonsense words. You did. So I, it was uh, Insane Walrus Farm. I remember I that, that one. for a while. Oh, I yep. kind of like that. Chaotic <laughs> Banana Guy. Yes, I forgot about yeah. that one. Apples aren't gold, I remember. Well, that one, that I know, one, that one has a story. story. We'll, we'll, we, save we, we'll that. save that for yeah, another time. Because <laughs> I still use that up until very... Basically, it's my AIM now. Uh, yeah. I just don't use AIM anymore. I haven't used AIM in probably 10 years. <laughs> um, Party Ninja. Oh, yeah. One. I forgot yeah. about that one. Uh, you oh, have a lot of screen names, Jack. Uh, Mr. Snuggly Bottom. Yeah, why do you have so many screen names? <laughs> you, I, I like changing them. I, I didn't realize how inefficient that was but yeah. at the time I just I thought it was like a creative outlet. were you like having too much cyber sex and then he was just, like, he was having to reinvent himself no, no comment uh, <laughs> but Mr. Mr. Sneko got around I forgot about Mr. <laughs> Snuggly Bottom do you yeah. you remember I'm assuming Why, where Mr. Snuggly yeah, Bottom you, came from yeah do you I do it was on the Drew Carey show it was live. Colin Mockery's Drew Carey live yeah one of his like I think it was the April Maybe Fool's it wasn't one or well it was one of the ones where after Whose Line was a big hit they started doing live episodes of Drew right. Carey where they would do a little bit of improv and there was one where Colin Mockery said Who's his my screen hero name, from whose line? One of the titans of yeah. improv. Um, he said his screen, he said his screen was name Mr. was Mr. Snuggly Bottom, and we were online at that moment, yeah. and you immediately logged off and then created yeah. that account and well, came we back like, on with it. We were like, oh man, everybody's going to want that yeah. now. It was Colin Mockery's on the Drew Carey show. That's going to be the hottest <laughs> That's what screen. all the teens <laughs> want. And I got it. Mr. Snuggly Bottom. Oh boy. 
Yeah. And now I'm on a lot of pedophile watch lists with the FBI. Certainly. <laughs> you certainly are. They're like, oh, we got Sissy Co. We He's got searching Bill Bottom. Cosby. His name's <laughs> Mr. Stugly Bottom. Yeah, AIM was really just a dragnet for uh, for the FBI, which Molly Chen would know. Yeah, oh my God. yeah just <laughs> racking up Sissy Co's. Did you spend time in like public chat rooms? I did. Um, yeah, I definitely when I first got AOL. So AOL, if, if uh, I don't know who's listening to this. I know I don't know who our listeners are. We got <laughs> some young. It's Jim Gaffigan. Uh, it's Stephen <laughs> Case. Right. Steve Case. Right, and all and the four people who are on our Reddit thread. Uh, we love you guys. But I know I do know that we have at least one high school aged listener. So AOL was kind of like it was the internet, but it was also this walled garden type thing where there were specific AOL only chat rooms as that were different from just like a web page chat room. And I remember the big thing was like you just go into the room and oh, the first thing you'd say is ASL, which is age, sex, location. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys remember this? Yeah. Yes. That was like, oh, who am I talking to? And then you start like flirting which with you, someone who claims to be it, an the F only way, in your The L. only reason you really want to ask that is if you're pretty much looking for somebody younger to have sex with. I mean, I guess well, you could look for somebody your age that you can relate to. But also, it's it's this was a pretty new thing, and, and I why think do people need to know just their gender. Well, because people wanted to know who they were talking to. I guess. Yeah, I just guess so. a little bit. Yeah. I mean, mostly it was to flirt. When I, certainly when I was in there as a as a high school aged boy who went to an all boys Catholic high school, <laughs> I was trying to find some ladies on there. Well, you just had Mr. Snuggly Bob. And I had all Wait, I had so was any MSB. I want to know two things. I want to know were you in chat rooms, but I also want to know what was your screen name. Oh God. Oh, yeah. It was, so so when my dad Sorry, made Miss Jackson. <laughs> when my dad made it, it was really nice and boring. It was just Annie Chang without the A and Chang. That was it. Okay. And it's still a username that I use today. Oh. Uh, should you be saying that on the air? No, it's not my email though. Oh. So it's okay, like, there we go. It's like my like when I pay my internet, it's oh, my okay. username. So if you want to pay my internet, there you go. <laughs> go for it. Uh, but uh, and then I was like, oh, I got to make a really cool one for AIM. And I was like, I should do like an oxymoron because I'm like, oh, man. smart. Jumbo so I was shrimp. Like, yeah. That's the first one I thought of too. <laughs> but I was like, I'll do like hot ice. And I was like, I really like, I was like, I really like Blink 182. So it's going to be 182. And then it was taken and I was like, ugh. And I was like, okay, I'll put it like a, a lowercase L instead of a one. But oh it'll boy. still look like a one. Yeah, taken. Course. Taken. Wow. And I was like, okay, so now why don't I put a zero in the hot taken? So then I changed it around. So it was ice hot with a zero, L82, and it worked. Worst nice. screen name I've ever That's, had. Did but, the people from Icy Hot like get yeah. in touch with you and be like, we want you to be our spokesperson? <laughs> <If> only. <laughs> Listen, L82, we, we need to get in touch. We know you're a fan of our product. We want you to be the Obama girl for Icy Hot. <laughs> but I, as I was thinking about what topics to talk about, sure. and I was thinking about AIM or AIM, I was like, oh my God, this memory that I had like totally forgotten came back, which was that in one of these like weird chat rooms yeah. and you're ASLing everyone, I remember that a guy messaged me and I gave him my phone number Ooh. and I was like 10 or 11 Ooh. and I was just sort of like, what happens? Like what happens if yeah, you do yeah, that? Yeah. And he called me and I still remember his screen name to this day, but I don't really know what it means. It was like, it was I E E T and then a space and then L D O. I don't know what that wait, means. Wait, let's spell this out. Let's, I, let's visualize I eat this. Ldo. Yeah. I don't maybe know. he just like made it up cause he was prowling was every it? week. I it was just like E T. T. And then there was a space and then it was L D O. And I was like, I didn't know what that meant, but I gave him my phone number and he called me and I picked up and he like, how do I put this delicately for the high school listener? He like <laughs> phone sexed me. Oh my, oh my at, God. At like 10 or 11 years I old. Said, and I, and I didn't even understand half the things he said. And but you didn't like, hang up. You and just... I didn't say anything. Yeah. And then when he was like, your turn, I hung up because I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I, like, blocked him. Oh yeah, God. yeah, yeah. Well, good move. For Did he fall yeah. back? Like, if your dad found out, what would have happened? No, I know. I the I don't remember if the phone rang or not, but, like, from then on out, I was like, I'm never answering the phone. Oh, my good God. Move. That's scary. <laughs> it's so scary. That, um, yeah. My, my grandma, uh, God love her, she, you know, she passed away a few months ago. She uh, had, like, a, a phone stalker who would call, <laughs> and he would call and just be like, what are you wearing? Oh. And she always thought it was like me or my dad. <laughs> and she's just like, oh, you know, my nighty, I got the air on, I, you know, just uh, just a little warm. Uh, and he's like, what are you doing right now? Oh, I'm watching the Yankees game. So he's like, uh, he's like, you are you hot? And she's like, he's like, well, like I said, you know, the air is high. He's like, yeah, he's, right. like, he's like, I want you to touch my cock. And she's just like, Vito? <laughs> and like, and this happened more than once. And it's just like, Grandma. <laughs> it's, not it's not one not of us. us. <laughs> oh. We like block the numbers or anything. Wow. 
but yeah, that's man, so ten. It just reminded me because she was like ninety nine, and you, know, you were yeah, ten. Yeah, that's, that's the like, other extreme. Yeah, right. Jesus, yeah. Wow, what a creep. That's that's and yeah. You that's told horrible. Him you were ten, like when you when you answered ASL. I don't, I don't remember, and I don't even remember being afraid. Like yeah, like yeah. now I'm like that's super weird, She's and super scary. weird and creepy. But at the time, I was just like. Like the idea that you could connect with somebody and you had no idea who they were, and right. then they called you and like, and suddenly they were a real person, you yeah. know, with a voice yeah. and yeah. not just like in the screen, was just like mind blowing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's um, young to be in the chat rooms too. That's scary. Again, I yeah. started a little late. I guess fifteen is pretty I feel much like young I, was, too. I like eleven was probably when I was first on AOL. But yeah, I, I like was you know I'm not like, cyber sexing like anyone. I, I wouldn't want that. That came much later. I wouldn't even want to just have a normal conversation with an eleven year old. Like I, I get yeah. uncomfortable when they're when I playing uh, Xbox Live and they show up. I'm like I, I don't know. I don't want to talk to you. Right. 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 You're a kid. You're a stupid kid. Yeah. <laughs> I, I never had any horrible uh, cyber creep moments, but I, maybe I was a cyber creep because <laughs> I like... So again, lonely boy in an all boys high school. Like I would go on AOL and search through people's profiles for like girls who lived in our area I guess I was Ooh, using. You were the, you were I, I, was using I was trying to make my own like dating Tinder. website. Yeah. yeah, basically. And then I would like message them and like, will you go out with me? <laughs> no, I'd just be like, hey, your profile looked interesting, and like I made friends that way. Yeah, no, uh, we certainly did. My yeah. uh, my first girlfriend I met online, and uh, one of my first real girlfriends randomly in a chat room. I wasn't looking for someone in our location. She right. turned out to live nearby. Yeah. Uh, a, I feel like that's a story for another time. That's, <laughs> right. that's, that's a whole thing for another yeah. time. But yeah, um, yeah, it was so weird. It was so new. Like you said, it, it didn't seem like these were real people. No. Like maybe I guess when you hear the creepy guy on the phone, yeah. that makes it all so very real. And yeah, I don't know. Um, it was a weird time. All right. Did you ever talk to Smarter Child? I did. Yes. I love Smarter Child. Yes. Yeah. The original chat bot. Yes. Like Siri almost. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, bots are now a thing. That's how you're, That's definitely you make, a thing. make plans on through Facebook Messenger. Like you uh, make travel plans. You just go, uh, you know, the, the bots like, uh, you know, whatever her name is, uh, uh, American Airlines Susie, and you just right. like, hey Susie, I want to fly to uh, Singapore uh, Tuesday, and she'll and she'll talk to you like you're, you know, yeah. like she's a human, and be like, yeah, we we could there's a flight here, you could do this, do that. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how Facebook is betting commerce will be. Like you will rather you just talk to a robot and, a, and tell it what you want, which makes sense. Like uh, you know, this I, sounds I, I like used, Skynet, and I'm getting to, concerned. Yeah, like how do you look up the weather? You would look it up in the newspaper, right? Uh, Twenty years ago, or you'd wait for it to come up on the news. Uh, and then 10 years ago, you look online, you go to Yahoo Weather, you go to weather.com, whatever, right. you look at weather. Uh, and now I usually will just say, hey, Siri, what's the weather right now? The weather uh, is bad yeah, and I, hot. Exactly. <laughs> so it almost, oh, so if you translate that to booking a flight, you know, you would right, right, right. call the airlines. Now, then you would do it online. Now the idea is everything will be just, you just talk. It's just like, I want to go here and they will talk yeah. to you and go, okay. Here you go. I don't doubt that that will be a thing that happens in I our feel lifetime. Like Facebook's betting on it early. Yeah, yeah, but I feel like there's a big difference between what's the weather right now and book me a flight. <laughs> like it seems like it's not really though. Well, uh, what's the weather right now? All it has to do is say it's raining out and yeah. it's 84 degrees. But, but booking a flight is like okay, how many people? Where are you going? Like how much are you going still, to pay? There's a lot just of variables. Data input. That's very simple. I yeah. think Facebook's planning on using this for much, even much more complicated things. They're talking about maybe like uh, smart web, smart WebMD type stuff. And, right, you know, they basically want robots to replace uh, everybody because it's more efficient, it's cost effective. You, you brought up Facebook Messenger, so here's a question I have: AIM, AOL Instant Messenger, huge, huge for the time. Do you yeah. guys still use any kind of messaging apps? Like, uh, well, they're very, like they're very popular with they're very popular with, with the youngs. Yeah, but I'm an old WeChat. Uh, <laughs> so I I, WeChat I text, so and that's like kind of what's it. the other one? There's another one I signed up for because everybody, all the younger TAs at work when I was a TA, I mean, they were like, we all talk Snapchat. on this. And I downloaded it, and I don't think I've ever opened it once. Now it's a really super popular Slack? one. Slack. No, WeChat's also Slack. very international, so I like even, I don't even know what WeChat is. I'm, I'm, oh my it's god, bad. I'm <laughs> sad. It's got a really long name. Oh, what is it? Not WeChat. Uh, yeah, the Thunder Cougar. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Come on, it's super famous. Super Califragilisticexpialidocious. No, that's the longest word I could. Think. I know. I, ha I have no idea. Um, but I, I am so out of touch. I don't use any of these apps or anything. Like I don't want. I want to talk to less people, not more people. <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, corner myself in a little I, cocoon what I of my about own making. Aim, although I've started meeting a lot of foreign uh, people uh, online because it was so easy and it was yeah. so fascinating. They a lot, a lot of them use ICQ. But, right. I, um, I remember ICQ. But what I liked about Aim was it pretty much had a monopoly because it's nice to have one, one thing. 
Um, I was getting upset. I stopped using AIM very recently. Like, everybody stopped using it, and I was one of the last people. I was like, man, none of my buddies are online. There's no buddies on <laughs> wait, my wait, buddy wait, wait. list. You stopped using AIM very recently? Like, compared to everybody else. I Uh-oh. stopped about four or five years ago. Wow. Uh, wow. That's the, pretty recent. And the reason I did it was because I started noticing more people were Facebook messaging me. Uh, right. And that's when I finally let it go, and I haven't signed in again. See, um, I feel like Gchat, when G- Gmail had a chat client in it, that's when I kind of went away from AIM. Because then all of a sudden, everyone I knew was just on that. And I, and I don't even really use that anymore. But see, that's what I'm talking about. So I have some people I G-chat with. I have some people I Facebook message with. And now I think right. the, the the monopoly I was looking for is texting. Texting has become a lot easier now sure. that it's uh, everybody has smartphones. Yeah. Uh, although I really prefer... Uh, people with uh, Apple iPhones because then I can text them from my desktop because I hate texting with my thumbs on a phone. Okay, okay. Uh, but I can only do that on iMessage. Soon they'll with have other chat bots that'll just yeah. text back, text <laughs> exactly. your friends back for you. But it's still kind of spread out, especially with Facebook. I don't like, to, for some reason, I don't like talking on Facebook. It just, I don't like Facebook at all. I don't like checking, period. Because it's another app I have to check. Whereas but wait, why don't you like Facebook? I'm, I'm, I don't like social media, period. Which, I don't know why I run Says most of our social media accounts. Also. I, love the, I love the podcast. <laughs> I just sit here and talk and like I can go on Reddit and just talk to some of our fans and that's kind of it. But like Twitter and Facebook, it's so much work. Like I'm busy. I don't yeah. have time to, to deal with all what these things. WhatsApp. That's what I was oh, what's thinking. Oh, WhatsApp. Yeah, I know that one. What? That's what I was thinking. Here's the thing, which I think is a terrible name. There's so many of these apps. Like it's so different. Difficult. Like Facebook actually has the people, so it makes sense to use Facebook Messenger because yeah. everybody's on There's Facebook. Viber, Line, WeChat, Kako, but not ev- not, Imo, not everybody's Skype, on Kako Messenger. Talk. Not Telegram. everyone's on on We Talk or whatever the hell all these yeah, different things are. It's too many. It's too many. That's that. That's kind of my point. Is you need to be on all of these things just to communicate. It's with the people. same with Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You have right. to Check each and every. You know, yeah, I have a whole. It's a pain in the I, ass. I have to do. I just very recently. I use recently in all different kinds of ways. Yeah. This right. isn't five year recently. This is like two week recently. Okay. Uh, I've come up with a routine every morning to check my social media, so I don't. F- I have See, to but do. I don't want to have I know, to do that. I know. That's so uh, I do. I check Facebook, and then then Twitter, then Instagram, and, right. and I have three Twitter accounts. So you know, I now have to do it this way because if I don't do it linear, I'm gonna forget one of them because there's so many now. Right. I, oh, I didn't check my Instagram. See, that's today. a problem. Like I just, I don't. I know. I, I, know. Don't, I don't want to be spending my time looking at Instagram. I mean, I like oh. Instagram. I know. Me <laughs> but what about, Facebook, like, what I guess. about for Facebook? Like the people that you care about, but that you don't talk to as much or don't see there's definitely much. people i keep tabs on on facebook who i don't talk to but i like okay i know what's going on in this person's life like because i see their facebook yeah well, like i'm on it i will go on facebook probably daily and just like really quick look at the news feed but like yeah. i i personally don't post all that much I about myself if it's a Pictures, free time maybe. thing because it's definitely young people have all of these apps and they do check all of them right and they have nothing but free time even well, when they're at school they can just fucking fuck off because like they can goof off because they yeah. don't have like a, a boss to report to well just today but well, i just want to yeah. finish this thought i used facebook uh, so much when i was unemployed uh, like when I was between jobs, and it, yeah. and it was. I think it's a free time thing. I think you just find yourself with nothing to do. Yeah, I, you're, I mean that's definitely a huge point. Like teenagers are definitely the biggest users of these things because they have nothing teenagers but time on their and hands. The unemployed, right? <laughs> um, just today, uh, a coworker of mine was telling me about her kids who are teenagers and all of the different apps that they use, and they're like obsessed with Snapchat. And there's like a thing. I forget what it's called. It's like a chain that you get going back and forth where you send oh, a selfie yeah, every yeah, day yeah. to somebody else and they send you a selfie a whole back. Game, yeah. And it like oh creates God. a chain and you have to like keep the chain going of sending selfies to each other. That sounds horrible there's to a, me. There's that an, is a yeah. nightmare. There's an article you should check out where a guy like some some one of these mashable type writers right. interviewed his like thirteen year old sister and it was fascinating. Like the 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 she does like something like two hundred snaps a day and that's just, crazy. Like, like she spends six hours a day on it and, and it's 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 so foreign to me that I was like I was shocked that like a suburban American person had such a like it was such a foreign experience. There's today. there's yeah. nothing interesting about a 13 year old's life that requires 200 photos a day. <laughs> but, but it is a real career. People make so much money off yeah, social but media. They're, they're the minorities of, off being like personalities on the on the yeah. But some of them aren't things. even doing anything. They're just like so going many about people their day. make yeah. money acting, and then there's how many like struggling like actors. podcasters. <laughs> yeah, how many? <laughs> think about that. How many? Look how many people make it doing podcasts. Yeah, I mean. Uh, and then there's us. <laughs> well, uh, we do pretty. We do okay for ourselves out we, here. We get cupcakes now and then. We get cupcakes yeah. every once in a while from our better guests. But uh, 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Social media, I, I realize I sound like the oldest old man. So old. Just being like, hey, it's social <laughs> media, I don't yeah. need it. <laughs> You're an old. I do the Times crossword puzzle every day. <laughs> but you also, were. as an actor, they tell you now, like casting directors and agents will say that if it's between you and someone else and they check your social media and the other person has more, that can be why they go with someone okay, else. Okay, I was going to ask you about that. So you've confirmed something I suspected. Yeah. It, it's all about your Twitter followers yeah. or how many people you have. Yeah. How many Twitter followers do you uh, have? Like zero, like <laughs> oh, four. Man. <laughs> it's you too. The, the, the podcast Mike. will follow you. <laughs> <laughs> you have one more. That, that'll be one more. Um, yeah. No, it's it's kind of insane. But it's nuts, man. So, uh, like, that's what I liked about AIM was that it was everybody had it. And yeah. Then, ex- that right. That's that's yeah. the point I was originally trying to get to when I brought up all these crazy social media things. Everyone had it, so everyone was on it. Like, I remember I had like a whole high school class, like yeah. in a buddy list of like high yeah, school exactly, friends. Yeah. yeah. Although and, like, I, got I could talk to anybody. Hooked. So I, I got internet for the first time in September. We got 56k dial up. We got a year's free internet with our gateway computer. Nice. Uh, I I thought it was literally 12 months, but it was apparently it was a certain amount of minutes. I used them up in about four months because I was online constantly. My mom was so pissed. I'm actually surprised and, it took four yeah, months because. And, and I, I remember how much we were online yeah, back in those days. Re- yeah, if you remember, like I, everything changed for me sophomore year when I got that internet because all of a sudden I was staying up till three in the morning. Yeah, and like you, I was addicted. I was like I was like a drug addict. I, and, like, yeah, I'm and right it got there to the you. point where I turned up the speakers all the way and I set buddy alerts. Uh, you know, I am noises and buddy alerts when when people would come on, it would make that opening door yes. sound. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would like so anywhere, and I had a huge house uh, at this time. And anywhere where I was in the house or in the yard, I would hear somebody go online, and I would run. I don't know who's on. And who's online? When is it Dan? We ran out of minutes, <laughs> and the internet just stopped working, and I couldn't like. I, I was my mom was like freaking out because I was freaking out. She's like, "What's wrong with you?" I was like having a fit. I was like, "The fuck! I can't yeah. get online." I was in the middle of a conversation. It was like crazy withdrawal. Yeah, and uh, and a- aim was really tied into that. Definitely, for sure. It was like um, I suddenly felt cut off from everybody, and that was kind of a precursor to now. It kind of went away a bit. Well, yeah, in it, college and stuff. Sort of, but now, now that now that the computer isn't a computer, it's in your pocket and it's your phone. It's, you're yeah. you're yeah. Always, always connected, online, yeah. and I could just text you whenever. You don't have to be online. Yeah. Like you're you're always online. I yeah. know I can if I have to ask you something, I can just t- send you a text. And, and sometimes was you the ignore first me. Time I had that feeling where. I had to be, I couldn't be cut off. I had to be in the, right. the, the cloud. So you're saying that AOL ruined our lives. That's what it's, I'm kind of getting. <laughs> I, yeah, I would go with that But far. I think as a kid, it's so exciting because it's like, you're not on the phone. So right. like mom can't hear what you're saying. That's true. And you can do it at 2 or 3 a.m. And they're like not going to know you're awake if you're like yeah. hiding out in the computer room mm-hmm. like I was. And it was a great way to talk to like, the guy or the girl that you were totally in love with that you couldn't talk to right. at school. Not for you because I guess you went to an all-boys school. Right, but the, uh, you know, the, the, <laughs> the girls I would find online and then right. I would be like, hey, how you doing? I, I, it kills me that <laughs> I... Can I have your phone number? I want to call you. <laughs> I didn't start dating until junior year. I guess I did all right for myself, but I probably would have like I didn't have like a, this boyfriend girlfriend experience you see on TV because we went to an all-boys right. school. And I, in junior high... Uh, there was I had some crushes and I found out some girls had crushes on me and I was too shy to ever ask them out. I was terrible around girls. I was super awkward. You you see me at work. I'm, I'm an awkward in person. <laughs> um, so like I just I'm uh, you know I was like that. And if I had instant messenger and went to a co-ed high school, it would have been a, that would so have been amazing because I could completely talk different to world. Girl. There was something about I mean you know I, I think this was. For a lot of introverts, and introverts were probably the ones buying the computers first, the early right. adopters. Yeah, I could talk to people. I was charming. Yeah. I was witty. I was quick, and like it was. Right. I, I'm not that way in person. No, <laughs> not at you, all. You, you, our you our listeners know. They know. I've they, they know. I can't do voices. I can't do it. My, my yeah. accents are great online. I'm just like <laughs> asterisk Scotty accent, <laughs> yeah, Scottish oh accent, asterisk. Check that was a really yeah, good Scotty exactly. accent. <laughs> Whereas if oh I God. do it in person, I'm just like I lassie. Nope. Hey. <laughs> but that is now the problem with <laughs> modern dating. I mean, what you're stating right there is that people have gotten way too like it went the other way yeah it went the yeah. other way and then you know they're so witty on i don't know messaging on tinder or whatever people use and then they meet them yeah and like oh it's Hi. jack yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy if i had a dollar so yeah yeah those two podcasts oh boy <laughs> Um, that's a whole other conversation, dating apps that I, I, you know, as someone who was a creep with AOL profiles, <laughs> I've never had to deal with dating apps. Yeah, like I've been either. with my wife, uh, we've been married for over three years. We've been together for dating like apps about a year nine. ago. <laughs> yeah. I stopped dating by yesterday. I finally <laughs> deleted them from my phone. There's a kid at work. I won't say his name. Uh, he's a very good looking guy. He's an actor. Um, Jack Pacone. 
Uh, I've also been in a long-term relationship, so I've been just giving him... Uh, I hear about these apps, and I'm just like, that's crazy. I, I've yeah. never used a dating app ever, like you're saying, no, me because neither, yeah. by the time they they came out, we were already in relationships. Right. Uh, and I'm just like, hey, I, I heard there's a threesome app. Like, you literally... It's Tinder, but it's called... It was called Threender. It's called something else now. Threender? Oh yeah. That's not even clever. And it's just like, you literally swipe right and swipe left on couples, or if you're a solo person saying you want a couple... Or three people who just, you know, and you chat, you find two, and you book a threesome. You just go, hey, you guys want to meet on Wednesday, have a threesome. And I was huh. like, this is crazy. And I was like, download it, download it. And he's just like, <laughs> and then like three hours later, he's just like, yeah, I got one for Saturday. I was just like, ah! What? <laughs> <laughs> How is that a thing? And then like it, after, so after he had his threesome, I was just like, you heard about Ashley Madison, right? He's like, what's that? I was like, ah, you gotta, you gotta sign up for Ashley Madison. You gotta have sex with married women. And like, <laughs> I'm just throwing him all these like I'm trying to like now. So going, you're, you're living vicariously through this person. It's not even vicariously because I don't want to do that. Like I right. have a threesome. I'm like, God, I can't even do one. Like it's too stressful. Yeah. Um, yeah, but but just the idea, the it's it's there's just like I could read about it in articles. It's obviously something fascinating to me, but sure. seeing it in person, like putting it I, out there, I feel I, like the kids having a good time. I so. feel like the absolute hubris of all of us with our technology. <laughs> like I'm gonna make an app to make threesomes happen. <laughs> like that's insane. <laughs> But it's yeah. also kind of brilliant. Yeah, it's no, amazing. Guys probably making killing. And, yeah. and think about if you were one of the threesome and you were single, how easy is it? How easy yeah, is it? It would have been impossible unless you're again. If you're if you're an introvert, it would have been impossible. Right. I'm thinking of Seinfeld where Jerry's like, yeah. I can't be a threesome guy. You need lotions and velvet <laughs> <Rose>. robes. <laughs> that's that's what I think of when I think of a guy who has threesomes. No, it's just. Um, it's but baffling. now it's just every every Joe schmuck who has a, an iPhone. Yeah. No. It's that's just, nuts. It's dating apps. I don't know. Uh, I missed the whole thing, and I'm kind of glad I did. Yeah, I missed I, it too. That's what I was gonna say. Like, are we happy we missed I hear, it? I totally so am. So, besides like really good-looking twenty-five-year-olds, uh, from normal people, I hear, uh, I'm, you know, when I bring this up, they go, "Oh no, you should be really happy." Uh, it, it's like trying to date on Tinder is a nightmare because right. it's very stressful and. You know, right, it's, and everyone, it's so easy that if you're not doing it right, you're freaking out. Yeah, and kind of what Annie was saying before, like you can be really clever on your twi- too, Tinder yeah. profile, and then you're or compl- hire someone. They do that now. Shut up. Yeah, really? yeah. There are people who will write your profile. Yeah, I shouldn't no, be surprised. I, I, uh, I was supposed to apply for that job. Somebody was like, gave it to me, and I never got. I was like, you were going to be a Tinder profile writer. <laughs> yeah. So for like <laughs> a month, I rewrote like 30 drafts of the perfect profile, and I just got too nervous and never submitted it. That's probably for the best for yeah. you. Well, at the, the time, it was like, you know, 75 bucks a, a profile. It was like, it was good money, whereas you yeah. know, now it would just be a waste of time. But like, why, time. why do people need Tinder now? Like, why? I feel like, I don't think people need Tinder. I feel like people now are just so used to everything being at the touch of a button that it's like, why can't human intimacy be at the touch of a button? And that's what Tinder is. And it's that's what... with the weather um, and, uh, the, and the... Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, do you think it's going to reach the point hey, where there's Siri, a chat yeah. bot I who's like, threesome. I need a, a lifelong companion. And it's like, okay, what are you looking for? <laughs> hey, Siri, book me a threesome. <laughs> in, 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 right. her, in her both of us at the same Siri time. Siri is listening. That's that's good to know. Both of us at, but at yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I, without making like a, a judgment about it, it's just it's been fascinating to watch the kind of the rise yeah. of e dating or yeah. whatever digital dating. What whatever do you, you want to call VR? it? VR, VR dating. Well, you don't we've, even leave the I house. Mean, <laughs> we've talked about that on this show, Teledildonics, yeah. where yeah, you can right. yeah. you can make a mold of your junk yeah. and have sex with someone over the internet. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So like, you you make a mold of that your could, that your could junk. happen. Great. I make a mold of my junk, and then uh, I have you, your you junk mold. So you if, have my junk so mold. Like, if I'm like if I if I tilt my 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 dick to the left, you're right. gonna feel it, it press in on your your right. I guess wow. right. Like you've, yeah. you've connected this to a computer that can activate the sensations crazy, that you would feel if yeah. you were actually together. And that, that's like live streaming, but I'm assuming you could also record it. So like if I die, you could be like. I want you to play oh my sex God. number 78. I hadn't that one, even thought yeah, about that. that one where I did the counterclockwise swirl. Play that over and over. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, and you're having sex with me even though I'm dead. So we really are moving towards that episode of Black Mirror called uh, The Entire History of You, where everything is just recorded at all times and you can play it back. You know which one I'm talking I've about? I've never seen Black Mirror. 
Annie, have you seen I was Black Mirror? Too busy oh, watching yeah. everything else you get. I had a tiger mom. Watch. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's on. It's on, <laughs> it's on Netflix. Everyone should watch it. It's an amazing show. But there's an episode called The Entire History of You. And it's the just whole... John Hamm wearing Dill Tell. No, tell that's, that's a different. Oh, wait, great this is episode. a current show. It's a current show. Oh, I yeah, thought yeah, you were yeah. bringing it back to the '90s. It's, that's it's, why it's a said. British show that Netflix Ooh, has now purchased. Burn. And uh, <laughs> passive aggressive burn. It's everything. It's everything before and after. Also, so this is this is totally fine. No, it's a British show. It's a lot like The Twilight Zone, but looking at how technology has affected our lives and kind of like that's I the hear nothing but good instead things. of supernatural it's like different versions of technology not so different than what we have now so in this episode somebody has a google glass type thing actually not somebody has it everybody has it and it records everything constantly and it shows how it kind of drives them nuts like he's able to replay arguments that he's had with his girlfriend and be like oh, you said cool this idea, and I like i'm angry constantly. because of that yeah. and she can replay like times she had sex with her ex-boyfriend and like oh, wow. watch it again and it's just like that's possibly where we're heading and it's kind of fucked up like it's too much information yeah yeah, yeah although i'm sure oh, we'll come up with bots and ai and uh cause yeah that we're, we're hitting that soon now not ai like uh skynet but ai data big data yeah uh and they'll probably be able to come up with some kind of thing that will go where you can just be like It'll it'll filter out all the noise and just right. say, I guess it would be really easy. Like first, I, I should bring up all the times I've had sex. Loading three files. <laughs> <laughs> first, it started with chess when you had Deep Blue and he beat everybody at chess. Yeah. Then you had Watson and beat everybody at Jeopardy. And soon it's just going to be just there's just going to be this hive mind that's recording all of our sexual experiences and playing them back for <laughs> us. Uh, if it makes you feel any better, uh, President Trump and President Putin are just going to bomb the hell out of the planet, and we'll be we'll be uh, having sex with sticks and stones. So hang on a second. Are Trump and Putin going to be co-presidents of the <laughs> U.S.? Is that what you're saying? Yep. Okay. Uh, and I going, can see that happening. And they're going to nuke each other they're going to nuke themselves they're going to i, I mean i hope drop. it doesn't come to that but <laughs> and well you yeah know, it's like that famous albert einstein quote uh you know if uh if you're having sex with uh with uh teledodonics in, in world war three in world war four you'll be having sex with sticks and stones <laughs> that's true old albert was way ahead of his time <laughs> oh yeah, so I don't know. I feel like this has become a kind of a downer conversation. Now we're talking <laughs> about World War IV. Oh, I'm like, excited about it. I don't know if I'm excited about it. It's weird. We're going to see some weird shit in our lifetime. And I okay. feel like... Um, what do you think we're going to see before we die? Like well, the biggest... Thing? Star Wars Episode Twelve. <laughs> we probably will see yeah. Star Wars Episode Twelve. I think we'll get there. But I, I, I think, before I answer your question, I just want to say I think it's really fascinating that us uh, as a generation, like people our age, we lived through a time where we didn't have the internet and we weren't connected all the time when we were really young. So we remember what that was like. But now we're going to see the extremes of how like super connected everyone is mm -hmm. going to be. And that's kind of cool. And it will probably make us really old and, and you but know out of touch. If there's like some kind of singularity happening where um, with technology is getting faster and faster, wouldn't, wouldn't there just be like the, like the generation now, like the slightly younger than us, they're going to, the way we talk about the 90s, they're going to talk about the 2000s and be like, I remember a time where if you wanted to be on the internet, you had to stay at, you know, you had to be on your laptop, you know, and then right. slightly younger than that, it's going to be like, you know, if you want, you know, you want to be on the internet, you you know you had to look at a screen. You couldn't even use VR. And then yeah. the next generation of that's be like, oh man, they're, they're, you know, talk about game changers. Remember when you actually, uh, you know, you couldn't, you had to drive somewhere. You couldn't just warp there and yeah, teleport yeah. there. You know. <laughs> Maybe not the warping, but I feel like the difference <laughs> with every other thing that you pointed out is it's it's a big change, but it's not as big a change as it was where we don't have computers and suddenly we have the fucking would internet. You, would you say it's bigger than any like our anything our parents and grandparents went through? Like radio was big, Probably. TV. Was big. TV, electricity TV was, was big. Kind of electricity was big. <laughs> I feel like everything is big. I guess like, uh, internet's certainly done something. It's certainly the VCR big. wasn't yeah, that big exactly, compared yeah. to the internet. And the er internet certainly changed lots of the way we do things. I mean, the internet has changed literally everything. Everything. But yeah. so did the computer. So did electricity. We it's wouldn't, just, know, we wouldn't just, have this podcast it, if it wasn't it, for the internet. It's just exponential, I guess. I feel like everything is going to be bigger than the last. I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll find Maybe out. Maybe not. Maybe Unless... internet really was some kind of like lynch point, lynch pin. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But as, as, as to Annie's question before, where I, what I think we're going to see... I think VR, if it becomes really, really good and every, you know, in like 20 years, I'm sure it'll be near perfect. Yeah. I feel like people aren't even going to leave their houses anymore because it's why like would movie you? It's oh, horrifying. And Bruce everyone, Willis. like, I feel like we'll be, we could potentially go to a world where everyone just lives in a small box. You mm -hmm. don't need a full room. You're just living in a VR chamber and you, the world right. is the VR world. All right, I'm going to throw this out there. Devil's advocate. Yeah. Is that worse? 
If, if I don't everything, know. If everything in that room is actually just a better experience and everybody's happier and uh, people, you right. know, like I have certainly can't afford to travel. I've never gone anywhere. If I can, like, put out some goggles and pretty much visit Paris yeah. uh, and be with... Uh, uh, my like, like relatives I don't see very often because yeah. they live far far and we all go to Paris together. Is that am I really losing something by not getting a breath of real fresh air? Two two things. One, I just want to point out before somebody in the Reddit comments points it out. Yes, I'm basically describing the world in Ready Player One, the book yes, that yeah, yeah. Steven Spielberg is now adapting into a movie. Uh, and, and two and surrogates. And and well, surrogates, surrogates a little different. Surrogates is a little different. Uh, and two, to your point. I don't know that it's better, but I feel like once anyone can go to Paris whenever they want, going to Paris means less. Yes. Yeah. Maybe. Like once, like it's 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 like the Incredibles. Once know. everyone has superpowers, no one was super. This is this is not a super app metaphor. I'm, I'm, they, I'm preaching my <laughs> on Randian uh, viewpoints here. This is not a super app metaphor because the, the the conversation I'm about to refer to was talking about art and art created by computers. Sure. But uh, the metaphor they brought up was how somebody had said when the typewriter was invented that language was fundamentally changed because the way you would say something, the way you would express yourself in a thought, is different when you ha- when you can easily type it out as opposed to have to hand write out the mm. whole thing sure so what i'm guessing is so what i'm saying is uh would would the would you would you be diminishing the experience of going to paris uh, paris is is that like saying that like writing uh you know and like a i love you email to your wife is that i guess I, it seems a little less romantic but is is it diminished no, no, not really. you know, is a novel diminished because again the metaphor doesn't hold up because they were specifically talking about art but would a novel be less lose something because it was typed on a word processor and 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 you know and it's not it's not the technology it's that the person writing it wrote it easier i can you know i don't think i don't think that's quite the same thing it's not it's not the best metaphor but i don't because, know i mean look i don't have an answer but i'm all, yeah. I, I could almost see i could see myself defend arguing that no the, the experience is not diminished in any way i mean What's what's you know if you're gonna get super super uh, literal oh, I'm not, and atheist, I'm not saying like, that the experience what, is diminished. You're like you know, you're just bringing in photons are going into your eyes when you're in Paris. Photons are going into your eyes. Sound waves are reverberating. Right. In your I'm ears. sure. What's I'm sure difference? it will be a near perfect simulacrum right. of what it is like to actually be in Paris. I'm saying if the fact that you can go to Paris right now is different than like it's always been my dream to go to Paris and saving up and then finally because going. Because it's hard. Because it's hard. The, yeah. the journey is what makes it worthwhile. And I feel like maybe things will become too easy. And I don't know what that means for humanity. I don't know about going to Paris, but I feel like you said something about like if you could be with relatives that you don't normally see or something yeah. like that. I, sure. I, I definitely think that there's nothing that could replace that. And I feel like there would be a I think there's going to be a backlash against all really? the te- technology. Yeah, I, like I think that we'll I, can, I, am, that. I like that I text my mom now. She lives in North Carolina. Honestly, I probably if we were only talking uh, on the phone, I, you know, I'd probably still call her as little as I do now. <laughs> but yeah. it's nice that I can text her whenever I want. And like, yeah. I know a lot of grandparents love to FaceTime and Skype their grandkids and right. stuff like that. Here's the thing, uh, the backlash that, you, that you're bringing up, I feel like it may already be starting because there's a couple of things that at least I, I've seen. I, you know, I've said I'm one who doesn't really like social media. I feel like I'm not totally alone on that. I feel like more and more people oh, yeah. are like disconnecting from social media. I went on Facebook for a couple media. months recently. I loved it. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you did. Um, so there's that happening. And I feel like there's there's also a movement, and I've talked about this on the podcast before, like a mindfulness type movement where people are trying to get the fact that everyone is connected all the time. People are kind of losing parts of themselves and people need to kind of disconnect for a little while. And I feel like that's becoming like a hot trend type thing. So maybe at least some people won't let technology into every aspect of their life. In that yeah, way. we have so. two minutes left. This is a totally yeah. Completely different conversation. We'll have to have okay. another episode. Okay. But I was just thinking about how if I had the choice whether to give up the phone or just go the other way, I think I go the other way. I love having all of world's knowledge in my pocket, and the only way right. would be better is if I could implant it directly into my brain and not have to like use my thumb to swipe. So I'm saying, well, would if you could, would you uh, would you put a computer chip in your brain like in uh, season two Dollhouse and just have all knowledge right there or are you losing something i mean if you're saying i i like i will lose the internet completely or you, lose a smartphone you now know everything you can't just like look sh- you, there's no but experience saying, of but, looking it up it's there and you're saying i choose that or i give up the internet like do you want to take do you want no, no nothing about giving up the internet oh. i'm just saying like do you would, want, oh, would i accept that want, probably you know, not would you you know would you rather take uh 12 weeks of ballroom lessons uh with your wife or would you rather download it <laughs> like kung fu in the matrix 
Well, I feel like it's the same kind of thing where it won't be as special. You're losing something. The joy is the finding. But now you can ballroom dance in five seconds, and now in that 12 weeks you just saved, you could probably learn 3,000 other kinds of dances. But is the the point... If if anyone could just download ballroom dancing, you're not doing anything special. You're just you know oh Plus, I can ballroom dance, but so can anyone else literally at any time. Who cares what anybody else can do? It's fun to dance. It's fun to ballroom dance. Who cares so you're if there, everybody well, else in the world is dancing? Dance with me. Let's just have one big ballroom. Let's dance. just have one big dance. <laughs> just a big old ball. I just wanna I just wanna be the debutante. I know you at do, the global Jack. Ball. You've got your dress picked out already. <laughs> But knowledge can't replace experience. Oh, there you go. That's what I'm saying. Perfect. Maybe it can. Maybe it's the same thing. Maybe experience it just takes longer. I don't know. I mean, it certainly would be cool. Here. No, not, I, I like I it. I like it. It certainly would be cool to learn a language just by plugging in a chip into my head and being like, I can speak yeah. fluent Spanish there's now. Because there's not enough time to. I've been trying to learn Spanish the, the hard way for yeah, like me 10 too years. for for years. I, just download it, please. Just no bueno. Me, yeah, no bueno. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No Spanish. No. <laughs> but what? But then you'll never know the satisfaction of working at something and then getting it and that joy of like. I committed to something and then I got something. Except right. you're not st- like you know, unless you're really good at it, you're probably still not great. Whereas you're trading that in for the joy of, hey, I can speak Spanish perfectly, right? I, it's and a, French, and Italian, and German. It's an issue of do we want to, as an individual and also as a species, strive to become better, or do we just want better right now? Better right now. <laughs> that's clear. That's clearly what you want, Jack. I don't want better. I just want to enjoy myself. I just want, yeah. I want to enjoy yeah, myself. I don't need Jack. to be better. I don't need to learn well, how to do all the languages. Oh, I don't God. know. I would enjoy myself if I was seconds. ballroom dancing and talking Spanish. I'd be pretty happy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my love. So, uh, conmigo. So AOL. So yeah, I, I, I love that AOL brought us to Future Talk. Wow. <laughs> no, um, I could. I, that's, that's our it. show. I, yeah. I could honestly do like a part two and talk about AIM. And actually, there was yeah. something I wanted to talk about, and uh, we didn't have time about no, fonts okay. and, and AIM. Oh sure. my god, fonts and yeah. colors. I used yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to talk about away messages. We didn't even it touch will. that. Uh, buddy we're icons. Gonna, we're gonna have to we'll do, have you back. We're gonna have buddy to do icons AIM for part sure. two. Okay. We'll have you back on, and we can talk about this again. It's it is good though that we we talked about the future, which we haven't done in a while. We haven't had a tech. Heavy podcast. Yeah, in a while. we we and I, I we ref- used to talk I about really this all the time. Not to bring up self-driving cars. I you did a little bit. You mentioned <laughs> the, you, you went to warp drives instead of I, self-driving cars, and, and that sounded like oh, that was incongruous with, with the rest of because I wanted yeah. to say self-driving cars. I, 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 I could like, tell oh, the wheels was, were turning in your head. So I swapped it out with warp. Anyway, that's it for this episode of 90s Percentile. Um, before we get out of here and wrap things up, Annie, I'm going to turn to you and I'm going to say, what did you learn today in this conversation? Oh, what did I learn? Uh, possibly nothing, but <laughs> I learned so something. many things. I think I think I'm still left with the the image you said that you can make a mold of your your happy parts. <laughs> <laughs> this is something I'll be googling later. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Jack, what did you learn today? Uh, I knew that I uh, everybody's been telling me to watch Black Mirror. Everybody, and I knew it was like a Twilight Zone type show. I didn't realize how tech. Oh my god, it dude! Was. It's so it's I so know. good. It's, it's uh, excellent. I've been trying here. I watched Rick and Morty. I watched Leftovers. What I do know, you want? I know. From me? I know. You're, you're doing good. I started watching the Get Down with Baz Luhrmann. I don't, don't know watch what that the fuck's shit. going on. Don't watch that shit. Watch, it's not watch shit. Black it's Mirror. Interesting. I've heard it was great. It's, it's really interesting. I'm sure it's fine. I just haven't seen it. It might be terrible. It's pretty much like everything Baz Luhrmann does. Black Mirror. There's only there's seven episodes. The the most recent episode is like two hours long All right. and uh, Netflix is doing 12 more they're coming oh, in October so. see I'd rather just download a button and just have them already no memorized. no 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 that would save so much time today I learned that Jack <laughs> you don't value the journey at all it's all about <laughs> being able to remember things for you journey. everybody's miserable in journeys so you would be like Quaid in Oregon. Total Recall you'd take the, the the Mars vacation that they just zap yes, memories into yeah. your head ah. would you rather be in Oregon or would you rather die of dysentery along the way the Oregon Trail. I want to hear nice things about Portland. No, I want Total Recall. I want I want to hit a button and just have the memory of playing Oregon Trail and winning. All right. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, all right. We're running long. Uh, Annie, want to thank you so much for being our guest today. Thank this you. was terrific. Uh, so you have any anything you're gonna be on TV? You know, you're if you got anything movies? you want to plug, uh, your Twitter, you want to get more there's followers. There's nothing I'm allowed to talk about. Right. right, oh, right. Okay. So, so. so you don't have anything you can talk about. No. All right. Well, okay. we tried. Yeah. Well, Season one of you. Shades the, of Blue the good is thing, probably on Hulu. Yeah. The or something. good thing about uh, TV being on TV now is uh, it's not like you, you. It's a one and done, and you missed it. Uh, yeah. Lesser None is on Netflix. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll do a second plug for Mike Karate Tortoise. Right. So you date previous guest Mike Diaz, and I. 
I did actually want to bring this up on the air a couple weeks ago. Uh, he was talking about his show Karate Tortoise, uh, yeah. and we on our Twitter we plugged a contest he was in. He won that contest. They aired it on yeah. TV on PBS. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Which is very cool, and you can of course watch it on uh, on YouTube. Yeah, probably you, what the Spook go, Taurus. Yeah, uh, yeah. SpookTaurus dot com. Also, a lot more episodes coming soon. Very right. cool. And what is your Twitter handle? Because everybody should follow you on Twitter. You're, you're at oh. zero followers right now. We want to bump you up to three. <laughs> we'll get you, we'll get you at least hot, one. It's hot, LA2. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Could you imagine? You're uh, going to get a tweet. Hey, <laughs> ASO. <laughs> What's your phone number? What's your phone number? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a little, I have to change it. If you have any ideas, tell me. Right now, it's ACC352, which makes me want to die. That sounds like some sort of like microchip. <laughs> I know. It was my NYU email. Ah, uh, okay. I know. It makes me want to die. Die. I have All to right. think of a new one. Here's, here's what we'll do. People on our Reddit, r slash worst episode ever, suggest a better Twitter, ha- Twitter <laughs> handle you. for Annie for Chang. For Annie Chang. Uh, my Twitter handle is Jackie No Breaks. Mine I'm is, not changing it. <laughs> mine is, I'm at Then Dan Says. And Dan's the show, not changing it. I'm not changing it. The show is also at 90s percentile. And like I mentioned, you can get to our Reddit, which is r slash worst episode ever, which is also the name of our Simpsons podcast that you can get at wepodcast.com. And uh, you can also get our sync points, our movie commentary series there, and shop on our Amazon links. Go to amazon.wepodcast.com. That helps keep the show free. Buy your teledildonics on. on Amazon. Buy we, all we of get, your, like, we'd your get fancy 4% technology. Of your dick. Buy your <laughs> virtual boys and all your VR equipment. <laughs> Through our Amazon link. Now, can you imagine having sex through a virtual boy? That must be a, a horrible experience. It would be very red. <laughs> um, and if you don't want to, if you don't want to spend any money, if you don't want to spend any money, but you still want to support the show. All you got to do is go on iTunes and leave us a review, or just tell a friend about the show. And uh, normally we have our guests read a review, but uh, you guys have been kind of slack, and uh, we've yeah, really we've ran, we've ran out of reviews to read. Um, so, Annie, you, there's nothing for you to read, and you're, you know, you're a, like a professional actress. I, we find it, we kind of feel gypped. Can you just like make up, uh, make up a review for us right now, and just read it as if somebody else had wrote it? Sure. Um, read it as if that guy that called you on the phone. Oh <laughs> no! I want you to relive gross. that nightmare. <laughs> we want you to relive one of your most horrible childhood <laughs> memories while plugging our podcast. Um. No, don't do that. <laughs> I'll do it as someone we both know and love. Oh, the, the podcast will love appreciate that. Okay. Um, <laughs> you um, cut all this anyway. I love the two guys who do the 90s podcast, even if it creeps me out that one of them didn't stop using AIM since about five years ago. <laughs> So that's our dead boss. Five, five stars. That's I love our, it. That's our old dead boss. You know. Yeah. yeah. Um, nice. Since we're not using his name, uh, I think we can just uh, talk about what a horrible person is. Do you want to say what he used to call you? Oh. Or what his nickname for you was? He had a lot of nicknames. I named some. Uh, oh, Jesus. I'll, t- I'll tell you. I'll tell you because you don't know. Okay. Uh, when I f- when I first got Shades of Blue, uh, he it, where obviously I'm FBI. He walked by and he goes, "I heard you got a new TV show," and I was like, "Yeah." And he goes. Do you play a slut? <laughs> and I was oh like, and, and, and he had he had his like his team with him, and I was like, no, I uh, I, I play an FBI agent, <laughs> and he goes. Well, do you go into cover as a slut? <laughs> <laughs> this was a real person. He's dead That's now. That's insane. But I laughed. I laughed. Yeah, I was like, right, right, right. Was funny. Mm, was what, funny. what else can you do in a situation <laughs> <Yeah>. like that? <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, so on that note, thank you very much, Annie. It was an absolute pleasure having you. Thank you. Uh, and uh, that's it. My name is Jack. My name is Dan, and we will see you in another decade.